Did you ever have thoughts of hurting yourself? Disney star Lee Thompson Young was found dead, but Young's manager said the actor, quote, tragically took his own life. Soul Train legend Don Cornelius has died. He died from what investigators are saying at this time was an apparent suicide. Violator Entertainment founder Chris Leiby has died at the premature age of 43. Sources are saying his death was a suicide via a gunshot wound to the head. Depression is an illness that affects more than 14 million Americans. But black Americans seek help for depression far less often than whites do. For black men, sometimes it's the stigma of mental illness that prevents them from being open about their struggle with depression. 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 I mean, it, we're saying that black men are five times more likely than black women are to commit suicide. So, I mean, there's a real problem going on, and mm. still we're not, we're not addressing it. There's a real need for the conversation to begin. I mean, black men increasingly over time have actually been more successful at committing suicide than women. Women tend to attempt suicide using more passive measures. Men tend to actually commit suicide using more aggressive measures. So in an instance where a man is contemplating suicide, five to one, he's going to actually commit suicide. Suck it up and be a man. I feel bad. I didn't mean to yell at him. My moods are so unpredictable. I feel sad. So when was the first time you knew you knew that you were depressed? Emar had to send for Emar. Mm -hmm. So I began to stay in my room, cry myself sometimes, and just I felt alone all the time basically. Even though I did have my mom and the sisters that loved me, I knew I had to shield that type of pain from them. So what made you think that you should take your own life as opposed to something else? I just had it. I just really had it. I was, I was tired of fighting. I was tired of going through because this wasn't the first time that love knocked me down or anybody else said something. I was always bullied. I was always, my life was just hard. I was tired of it. So I was like, you know what? Why not just go? Go. So we expect our black boys and black men to be angry, but we don't expect them to be sad or depressed or even to have days where they just typically feel blue. And I think if we get to a point where we can understand that these are human emotions, they're not gender specific, then we can allow not only our black girls, but our black boys to be able to express how deeply they're hurt and how deeply they are in pain. We have to actually experience these things. We have to talk about these things because our boys are also dying from this. Things are going well. Why do I feel like this? Why do I have sex so much? What's the point of life? What's wrong with me? I can't sleep. I can't eat. I feel sad. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't do this anymore. I'm not crazy. I am not crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I am not crazy. I am not crazy. I'm not crazy. And I remember Chris Rock telling me once that four of his friends who were comics committed suicide, shot themselves in the head, you mm -hmm. know? So it's the funniest person that you know who could be the one who's suffering the, you know, suffering the most. 
So we have to be aware that when we talk about depression, it's not just about having sleep issues, appetite issues, being sad all the time. Depression can manifest itself in so many different ways, including rage, including the slow suicide that we've talked about as far as uh, very destructive behaviors. I guess the hard part was not knowing. I mean, uh, I guess I'll always feel like maybe I could have done something. But I didn't have a clue. Hey, I'm KT Nelson. And I'm Squeaky Moore. And we are the producers and the directors of Face of Darkness documentary. We are really thrilled to bring this uh, project to you, this promo to you. Um, this project is very important to us. Yeah. We both have battled with depression before. Definitely. And we were learning that so many men out here are struggling. And it's such a taboo topic. It's such a, a thing that's not really discussed in the African American communities mm -hmm. that we wanted to talk about it, especially with the rising um, epidemic, we'd like to say, uh, of suicides lately. Um, it is, I mean, it's epidemic. Just last week, we just heard about someone else committing suicide. And so I realized that, you know, there's something going on in our community and no one is talking about it. So it's time to start talking and now we're talking and we're going to offer solutions and resolutions for this issue that's happening right now because no one should feel alone. I mean, a lot of people feel alone and they're not alone. There are a lot of people that are suffering from this. Absolutely. I was just talking to a, a friend and um, this friend had shared with me that she was struggling with depression. And so I asked, well, are you going to see a mental health um, specialist? And she said, well, I'm afraid. And I said, well, what are you afraid of? And she said, well, um, of being diagnosed. So for her, it was the fear of actually being diagnosed or actually finding out that, you know, something was wrong with her and she was also afraid and she swore she would not take medicine and so it's all of these these different things that come out of you know uh, why we're not seeking help for um depression i mean you think about it i mean i have friends that don't want to talk about it you know i've, I've encountered with people talking one-on-one -on -one, which is great because a lot of people feel safe and it's all about having that conversation that safe conversation that people can talk and feel like this is a platform where i'm not going to be judged no one's going to judge me you're not going to think that i'm crazy which a lot of people think that they're crazy and in reality you're not we really need your help uh, making this documentary film yes and do. you ask how can we help you can help us by contributing to our documentary yes. through Indiegogo.com, yes. Face of Darkness documentary. Yes. Um, and you can give whatever you can. We have some wonderful perks with some wonderful packages in there. Awesome perks, let me they, tell you. Yeah, they are. They're awesome. really great. And also, you guys can go to our Facebook page. You can go to Face of Darkness Documentary. Again, that's Face of Darkness Documentary on Facebook. And also, you can go to um, our webpage, which is www.faceofdarknessdocumentary.com. Again, that's www.faceofdarknessdocumentary.com. And if you can't help, if you can't contribute financially to this Indiegogo campaign, here's what you can do. You can still help us out. We're just asking that you tell 10 people That's right. to tell 10 people to like our Facebook page. Yes. We're looking to try to get 100,000 likes, and that's very minimal that's easy. in that's the, easy. the big scheme of things. There's people around the world in our community who are struggling with depression, and there's millions of people on Facebook. So 100,000 likes help us reach the masses so that we can help start this dialogue and just tell people to tell people. And I want to thank you guys already for your support. Thank you so much we for watching. Really, really thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Support, Support Face of Darkness, Darkness documentary. documentary.